Farming your Gmails is probably one of the most confusing things that we have to do in the sneaker botting world. No one knows how to do it. No one knows the exact right way to do it. People just assume that you buy one click Gmails and they stay that way forever. They always stay at 0.9, but that is not the case. In case you guys didn't know, every single time you use that Gmail, whether it be for, for a V2 Shopify release, whether it be for a Yeezy supply release trying to pass Splash, that score is constantly going down. So what do we do? You have to farm your Gmails in order to keep that score high. Make sure that you have a one click. What's up YouTube, my name is Soulstate and today we are going to go over how to farm your Gmails. I'm going to go over two of the most commonly used tools to farm your Gmails. I'm going to be going over AYCD auto solve, that capability, but mainly just AYCD and how to farm your Gmails. And then I'm also going to be going over Kylan one click. These are the two that I have used my entire sneaker botting career. I'm going to go over pros and cons of each best tips and tactics to use when farming your gmails to ensure that you have that elusive 0.9 score and that one click status if you guys are brand new here be sure to use your one click to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel while you guys are here i post brand new videos every single day at noon and we go live every tuesday and thursday night at 8 p.m central um, we are going to be going live tomorrow night as well um, talking about the Yeezy Foam Runner release, setting up live for it. So if you guys want that live setup help and also witness a uh, Kif Shopify restock stream, make sure you guys have that bell hit down below. That way you're notified when we go live. We're going live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central. So without further ado, guys, let's get into how to farm your Gmails in 2022 to ensure that you guys have that one click, that 0.9 status in order to pass Splash and cop yourself some Yeezys. Let's get into it right now. All right, guys, here we are on our sauce server. We're going to be discussing Kylan one click and AYCD, um, the one click farming tools. Um, this is by far one of the most requested videos um, I get asked for in my comment section on Discord. I'm always asking for an updated guide. I posted a video maybe a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago on Kylan one click when it was relatively new, a lot has changed since then. And I thought it would be a good idea to include one click AYCD in this video. That way we can kind of compare the two of them. Uh, they're both very good tools. They both do the same exact thing. Um, some people have a preference for one or the other. There really is no difference. I want to tell you guys off top, you can use either one of these tools and be successful in farming your Gmails. But me personally, I do all of my farming in Kylan one click. I'll explain why at the end of the video, uh, but I think it's a good idea to go through both of them. So the very first one we'll go through is Kylan, and then we will go through AYCD after that. Um, and then I'll tell you why I use Kylan at the very end. So, but anyways, you guys can see we are on the homepage here. I have a task created uh, for all of my Gmails um, to farm these things. It's super easy. Um, to do that, but before we do that, we have to go in and we have to add proxies and we have to add Gmails um, to Kylan one click. But before we do that, let's just take a look at all the tabs, familiarize yourself with them. Um, the first one, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, that's the task. The second one is Spoofer. I don't ever use that. I don't know who does. It's not for me. The third one is Harvesters. I don't use this one at all. I used to back in the day um, whenever you needed cookies and things like that, but I don't run anything that needs cookies anymore. So another tab that I don't use. Um, the next tab is your proxies tab. You are gonna use this one to import your proxies into your bot. Um, I have several different proxy groups in here. Um, it's very easy to do so. All you gotta do is go hit on this plus button right here. You create a new group. Uh, we'll just make a test group uh, right here. And then you select what proxy type it is, whether it's static or rotating. Um, if it's a static group, there it is. Now we're on test. And to add proxies, it's now we are on our test page right here, the group that we just created. And to add proxies, it's very, very simple. Just hit this plus button down at the bottom, add your proxies in. And then after you that, you can save them. You can test them on different websites um, like Google, Shopify, any Foot Locker sites, um, Yeezy Supply, any site that you want to test them on to see if they're working and they're valid. You can do that down below right there. But that's how you guys create a proxy group. It's very, very simple. And you guys are going to want to input proxies in here. That way you can farm your Gmails. Always be sure that you're farming on nice proxies. I personally use leaf proxies to farm. Uh, but 
any ISP DC proxies will be good to use. Um, the next tab is proxy generator. I don't use this. I don't generate any proxies inside of Kylan one click. You definitely can if you want to, but it's not something that I really use at all. Um, the next tab is your sites tab. Once again, I don't use this one at all. Um, if you were to add a site or anything like that in here, plus button down at the bottom, but don't need to worry about it. The next tab is the profiles tab. This is where you can import profiles into the bot. Um, if you would like to store any botting profiles in here, um, one thing that a lot of people don't know is Kylan works like AYCD in terms of being able to store profiles inside of it and you can export it to any major bot. They have every single bot that you can need on here. So if you guys want to just have one, um, I personally use Kylan for all farming and then I use AYCD uh, for exporting profiles, converting profiles, things like that. Um, but you guys can do that inside of Kylan too if you want. It's very, very simple. Um, so you can use the profiles tab for that or just to store your own personal profiles in whatever you guys choose it for. The next tab is one that you will be using a lot. Uh, this is your accounts tab. Um, and in here, you would go in and you would add all of your different Gmails. Um, you can group them. I have several different groups. Um, I have a Yeezy supply group. I have a Footside group. I have a group specifically with my Genounce uh, Gmails. In case you guys don't know, that is my Gmail sponsor, uh, Genounce Gmails. Um, so shout out to them. Link will be down there in the description. Uh, for them and I personally use their gmails. I have great success with them So that's who I use uh, but this is where you would store all of your gmails You can create a bunch of different groups and we'll talk about why you would do that in just a bit uh, But anyways, that's why you do that and then the last tab is just your setting tab You can get your license number Change a little bit different uh, settings for your task your farming settings different things like that um, So you could do that from that screen now Let's return back to the initial screen that we were on, the task screen. Let's talk about what all we could do from here. Um, really, the main, this is like the hub um, of Kylan One Click. Um, so, a couple different things to notice here. Um, if you guys want to add in a task, you would just hit the plus button down here. And then this would come up. You would name your task. You would uh, pick which group. Um, so, if I wanted the uh, Genounce group, I would just say Genounce. And that's how I would create that. Um, and then you would go through, pick all of the accounts that you need, uh, that you want to farm or that you want to create tasks for, um, select your proxy group and then select all your proxies inside of that group. That way each, uh, Gmail has a different proxy. You don't want, uh, the same proxy on multiple Gmails. That's not going to work. Um, and then you can mess with your farming settings if you want. Um, like you can change some of these things down here at the bottom. You can change your sleep time, your run time, things like that. Uh, but I usually just use those pretty basic. Uh, but anyways, so after you create all of your tasks, you will be presented with a screen like this. Um, if you want to disable account for any reason, uh, you can just toggle this little icon right here. And then everything on here is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the number of the task, what type it is, what account it is, what proxy it has linked with it. Health, I'll touch on this in just a second. The status of it. So you guys can see, for example, if I hit the start button right here, this will go from idle to taking a break um, because it is nighttime right now and they take a break at night. If this was daytime, you would see it go to things like uh, reading news, subscribing to different things, um, really just farming up that activity. Um, and then all of these things, if you want to manually inspect the task, see what it's doing, you can hit that I right there. If you need to edit anything, you can use that button right there. And then if you want to delete it, obviously, delete button right there. Now, a couple different things I want to touch on. Um, down here at the bottom, you guys can see um, the green check mark shows the number of accounts with one click for the V2 CAPTCHA. Um, so if you see this green check mark right here, that means it is a one click Gmail for V2 CAPTCHAs. Um, the blue shows um sorry the blue shows that it is a one click on the invisible v2 captures um so this is mainly used by supreme back in the day it's used by a couple different things um so just be aware of that um and then the green right here if you see it has this green box around it right here that's just showing you the health so 0.9 status that's what we care about um for yeezy supply and just to show you guys how easy this is I'm going to go in here, reset health status. So it will reset everything on my accounts. 
and then I will go in and do a health test right here and you guys will see I want to check for v3 score um, I don't want to solve it manually I want it to use the proxy that is associated with that task keep them the same um, then I'll hit run and you guys can see these will start logging in they will start going through and testing each individual Gmail to see if it has uh, that 0.9 score um, and shortly you will see this start going through um, and we'll start seeing some come up showing that they do have M.9 indeed. So you guys can see it went through, ran the test. Now it will return the 0.9 score. Um, I have like 40 something Gmails in here. Um, 44. I would, I would be surprised if I didn't have at least 40 come back with 0.9 scores. Um, I farm mine up pretty regularly. So I expect to have at least 40 of these. But we'll fast forward and I'll check back in with you guys as soon as these are done. All right, so the health test just wrapped up. Uh, we had 37 return 0.9 scores. Um, we had seven that did not return a score at all. I think the proxies in there are messed up or something because it just gets stuck at logging in. It doesn't do the actual test, uh, but I'm pretty sure those are 0.9 as well. But anyways, we now have 37 Gmails that are confirmed to be 0.9 score heading into the next uh, Foam Runner release. But anyways, farming your tasks on here super simple um you can just hit this play button like i mentioned and for some kylan users they also have the option to enable auto solve you guys know aycd has auto solve and they're the king of auto solve but kylan is testing their hand out so i was lucky enough to get access to auto solve to turn it on if you have the function all you have to do is hit this auto solve button down here auto solve doesn't work in farming mode would you like to switch to normal mode say okay now it is in um, auto solve mode after you hit enable any bots that you have linked up to it um, will start being solved in here you just have to hit the play button right here and then it will say ready and then you're ready to go you can start sending uh, requests its way i know right now it's partnered up with mech aio so if you guys have mech aio definitely try using uh, kylan's auto solve as well it could be a good thing um, to run Kylan auto solve just to mix it up a little bit um, but anyways that is Kylan one click um, this is a tool that I use to farm my gmails I prefer this one over AYCD um, I just feel like the whole landscape of things is a little bit better um, the farming I have noticed is um, also a little bit better I feel like my gmails farm better on Kylan one click than they do on AYCD um, not to say that AYCD isn't good it still is um, but Kylan one click is my preferred tool of choice. But with that being said, let's check out a Y or just a Y C D. I keep saying a Y C D auto solve. Um, anyways, you guys see, I have all of my accounts listed and we have similar tabs up here. Um, just like we did on Kylan. We have the accounts tab, proxy tab. It's a little bit, uh, it'll show the name of the account, the proxy, um, whether it's ready to go, it's status, whether it's a one click, whether it, or what score it is. I haven't tested these in here. That's why it doesn't say any score or one click. I just do my testing in Kylan one click, um, because I have found that it's a little bit more accurate. Um, but that's how you do things in here. It has very similar options, uh, start, stop, view the task manually. Um, so that's how this goes um if you want to turn on auto solve mode uh just because i feel like that's what a lot of people use uh one click for just hit this options button start auto solve all you can do that make sure that you have assigned your proxies um, and keep your proxies the same the ones that you farm with use those as the ones uh that you're uh, solving caches with so um it's pretty self-explanatory guys it's literally just the same exact thing um on how to farm your gmails you can choose either tool um i prefer kylan one click but auto solve is our aycd um is just as good um for the most part i still think um kylan one click is a little bit better it offers a little bit more features um a little bit more um customizable um, aspects of it so that's why i use kylan one click plus i feel like i get better results um but then obviously I have to take those accounts and import them in here for auto solve. Um, so it's really up to you guys. If you just are looking for something easy, I would suggest auto solve um, or AYCD, um, AYCD one click. That is the better thing to use. 
um, if you're just looking for ease of use if you're looking for a little bit more performance a little bit more um, control over your farming efforts then kylan one click is the way to go it's a little bit more advanced um, so that's what i would suggest using if you guys have any questions at all please 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 drop them in the comment section below if you guys want me to go more in depth on anything just let me know down there in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like it leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel videos like these take a lot of time and effort to make um, and this is why I don't make them very frequently because it takes a ton of time, a ton of effort. Um, so if you guys appreciate it at all, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Uh, be sure that you guys have notifications on. Brand new video dropping tomorrow. How to cop the Yeezy Foam Runner Sulfurs and Stone Sage. Um, then we'll be live streaming tomorrow night. So come check us out then as well. That is going to do it for us here on the channel today, guys. Like I said, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. This is One, Soul State. Two, three, signing and out. Four. Count what you have now. Don't count what you don't have.